So what I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is the landing position in any sort of a double leg jump or any sort of a jump that you've been prescribed by your PT, by your athletic trainer, any jump that you're doing on your own. So essentially the landing position should be what's called the ready position in sports. Say you play soccer, field hockey, uh, football, whatever your ready position is when you're ready to react, you're ready to turn, you're ready to follow the opponent, the movement, you're ready to go, this is our ready position. Now, in this position, my weight is actually on the balls of my toes. You may have been told by people to land on your heels. That is actually incorrect because if you're landing on your heels, you're not ready to go, you're not ready to move, you're not ready to be athletic, okay? So when you land, your weight needs to be right on the balls, not up here, which you see a lot of times where people's heels are all the way up, but just on the balls. You should be able to slide just a piece of paper underneath there. That is our ready position. Our butt is back, our chest is down, and we are ready to go. You'll feel everything in your quads working. This should be what the landing position looks like. Again, butt back, chest down, weight on the balls of your feet. If someone were to push me over, I shouldn't feel like I'm gonna fall. So if I'm gonna jump in place, that's my landing position right there, solid, okay? Landing softly is a cue that some people like to use. Just think about landing in control, that no one's gonna push you over when you land.